Um, I think the often repeated comment that you can't prove a negative. Yes. I, I think that is a very misleading yes. concept. In science, we show negatives all the time. Uh, I don't want to use the word proof because that's mathematical. Proof exists in math. Yeah. Here, so for example, if you have a hypothesis that a bear exists in a certain zone, a certain geographic zone, and you know that the bear would have to be heavy, and if it rains, uh, a bear would leave footprints, and yeah. bears poop, yeah. large yeah. poop, all right? And there's, there's, there would be evidence of a bear even if you never found the bear. Yes. And if you do not see the poop, you do not see the footprints, even if you drop dust, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, white dust yeah, around. That, that, that ought to be evidence. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. there's no, and you put it in front of a cave, and, and you wait for a full cycle of seasons, and there are no footprints, scientifically, you have demonstrated the absence of a bear. Yes. Conclu conclusively enough, so you can walk up and down there and send your kids out there yeah. and not worry about it. It's not game. totally conclusive, but for all intents and purposes... Scientifically, it's... we're good with that and we move yeah. on to the next and I problem. I think that's a good parallel for, for, for God. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I, perhaps the difference between us is, I don't care if they want to keep believing that. I just care that it, they stay out of the science classroom. Yeah. Because then it's not yeah. science. It's really not science. And there was no tradition of scientists knocking down the Sunday school's door trying to tell the, the theologians and the, and the preachers what to teach. There's no tradition. Atheists don't even do that. 